G'day, Brian Martin with you, and I'm here with Mark Gorski from the Melbourne Running Company. Uh, Mark is a former elite runner and also a coach of elite and also non-elite athletes. And I just wanted to have a chat to Mark today about when a runner of any level of ability might decide that either an improvement or a major overhaul to their technique is warranted. They're big questions, Mark. Um, yeah. <laughs> So probably not a correct answer, in, yeah. in, in 100% correct answer with, with any of it, but um, I think if you're beginning running, definitely that's a great place to start, obviously. You can, if you're willing to be patient, build up slowly, um, and get some technical advice along the way, yeah. I think that's really, that is probably the perfect time to yep. undergo some changes if, if it's needed. Not everybody needs to change their te yeah. technique. Um, most so, if just, so if you're just starting from scratch or you haven't run for you know, five years, yep. might be a good time to go and jump on a treadmill somewhere and get someone to have a look at yep. how you're moving before you get too far into your training. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That, that's definitely one way to go. Um, I guess for people that are a bit more seasoned runners, um, and if you've had a lot of injury problems or a recurring injury as mm -hmm. well, um, or a recurring tightness in certain parts of your body, then mm. I think that's definitely a good a good indicator to say, right, we need to change something here, um, yep. and getting your technique sorted out would be would be certainly the way to go. Usually, in that case, um, it doesn't always require a major overhaul mm. technique, but some changes would need to be made. Whether it's um, changing some strength and conditioning type aspects yep. of, of your of your training, um, or changing something with the actual the way you're actually running. Yeah. And if you were coaching someone in that scenario, you might actually give them some real-time feedback, you know, both having them running on a treadmill, but also maybe during some of their training sessions. Definitely. You sitting there, giving them, yelling at them, giving them some advice, and absolutely getting them on track. And that, that's the that's the beauty about getting getting guys, but even distance runs, back onto the actual format of athletics track. Mm. Is that you can sit there and you can watch every step they make. Yeah. Um, and it's very, very clear. It's such a nice straight. Mm. Um, course that you can, it's really clear if there's any imperfections there too, especially when they get into like this transition. Yeah. So, yeah. so well, I guess we've sort of covered, um, you know, if you were going to make a change, you'd definitely think about doing it if you were you know, injured or getting sore all the time in the same place. Mm. Um, what about if you were someone, so in, in my case, I was also injured, but I also had the motivation of just wanting to actually run faster yep. than what I'd have been able to do before. Yep. Um, is that something that you've worked with people with before? Yeah, it is, it is. Um, the, the thing with that is to be able to encourage the person who you're trying to help out to be patient. Mm -hmm. That's that's really the, the key to yep. in that situation where, yes, you're running and you're not getting too injured, but you want to be able to actually run faster and have your body facilitate that. Mm -hmm. um, you have to have the person really be patient with it because yep. it, will, it will take time. It doesn't yep. happen overnight. But yep. It's something that you've got to really take in six to 12 months to really mm. to trigger your body to actually run in slightly differently in order and able to get to run faster. So in that scenario, would you generally advise someone to stay away from competition and maybe back up their training a little bit until they get those you know, changes down in their in their mind and in their muscles? Yeah, definitely definitely backing off the training so that when you're making the technical changes, mm. you're not tired all the time. Yeah. Because uh, otherwise, your muscles and brain are too tired to actually really figure out what's mm. going to be happening properly. So um, I think that's that's definitely a key, just yep. backing off a little bit. And so a lot of people would believe, and there's, there's probably been some popular opinion about that it's actually not possible to improve your running technique or to make any changes and kind of stuck with what you've got. Um, and some people would say by doing that you would never actually run any faster and you might actually injure yourself by doing it. So could you actually give me an indication about whether you've actually helped someone to change their technique has that reduced their injury? Have they been able to run faster as a consequence? Mm, absolutely, um, and even at, uh, at the sort of the higher end of the scale, um, an athlete of mine, Clint Parrott, he's sort of undergone a little bit of remodelling. It wasn't a drastic change, but um, we got to a stage about four years ago where he was he was just running. He was very stiff when he ran. Um, everything was stiff from his head to his toes. And, we really sort of just had to almost remodel the way around a little bit. Not not a yep. lot of changes, but um, really worked on strength and conditioning stuff, especially around his hips, yep. um, and then freed up his upper back with a lot yep. of um, a lot of flexibility work. So, yep. um, and that again changed the way he strike you know mm. striking on the ground, all that sort of stuff. So, um, he's been touch wood pretty injury free um, since then, and running yep. well, very well. Yep. So.
That's good. So there you are, there is hope. Um, if you're str struggling a little bit either with soreness or injury um, or you'd like to run faster, then it could be um, a reason that you could, those are the reasons that you could think about um, if you thought about potentially changing your technique. So thanks for giving uh, us the benefit of your wisdom today, Mark. No worries, thanks, Brian.